Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is a foam armor project. We've done the gauntlet, we've done the van brace, and in this tutorial we do the shoulder, the bicep, and the elbow. Fun project, made out of craft foam. You use some cereal box and some craft foam and some paint. And of course I give you the template. And this works. Everything moves so you can wear it. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure shades, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model box, and animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, let's take a look at what we need to do this project. You need some kind of glue. I use a spray-on adhesive like this. It's wonderful and easy. You can use any kind of glue you have. You need the template. You need some strips of Velcro. I got these at the dollar store for a dollar. A little bit of wire, maybe about, you know, a foot of it. Some cereal box cardboard or cracker box cardboard. You can even use poster board. And three big foam sheets like this. Foamies. Now, a couple of important things I want to point out about this project is um, there are four different parts. One, the shoulder, the undershoulder, the bicep, and the elbow, right? We're going to make these four parts. An important thing about this is the assembly like this makes it so you actually can move your arm and your elbow. That's an important part thing with armor is you got to move your arm. So let's get started. Print up the template. The link is in the description of this video down below. You can get that template, it's totally free. And all the parts. Parts 1A and 1B, you cut those out and tape them together like that. Part 2A and 2B, cut those out and tape them together like that. Uh, and C, uh, excuse me, 3, 3A and 3B, the uh, bicep, you tape those, you cut them out and tape them together like that. And part 4 is the elbow, you just need to cut that out. It fit on one sheet of paper. So let's start with part 1, the shoulder. Now we have that piece cut out like that. Glue it onto your cereal box or your poster board. And then part two, do the same thing. Glue it onto your... Now the wonderful thing about this is the poster board or the cereal box will give the thing some strength and then cut them out. And, uh, and then the foam gives it a good look when we apply the foam later and I will show you that. So see those dash lines? Those are slots. So you cut these pieces out and you cut along that slot of part one. Now let's form the shoulder. You just go like this. Watch this. Uh, boom. And it's pretty much done. That shapes your shoulder. Now fit it on your shoulder to see if it fits. You can open that and close that as you need to. And then put plenty of tape on it. Once you get it in a nice size and shape you like for your shoulder, you know, tape it up with masking tape. Um, you can tape the whole thing if you want for strength and rigidity. I taped it partially, but I just wanted to show you. You can even, at this point, shape it a little bit with the tape. Oh, and I didn't say masking tape in the beginning, I'm sorry. Masking tape is useful. So now let's put foam on it. Start like this. You're just putting foam to the top of the shoulder. And you glue it down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the sides like this. So put some glue on there and bring up the sides. Watch. So and we, so we end up with a nice smooth armor. And this foam is quite wonderful. You can do a little heating with it too if you have a heat gun. So once you've got it wrapped up the sides, you can trim it down a little bit so it's easier to work with. The only thing we have to worry about is the end piece, the end there. But as you trim it, you can see how it's going to work. I'll show you exactly how to do this. But I like it. And it's a little open right now, but as we add more pieces, but see, there you go. So you end up with something like this. Cut it so you end up with that. Then you can fold that down and then trim it neatly with like a sharp knife or scissors or something. And, and you're done with the shoulder piece. So now piece two, the under shoulder. You um, take that, you had a previously put the template onto cereal box, now glue that to foam. And you have this, like this, done. Now we want to attach it under the shoulder, and it goes just like this. Make sure you have that shoulder oriented the correct way. It's going to go just like that. So punch, place it together in a way that's nice, it looks good. 
punch a hole through both of them and then run your wire through it to act as like a little lock and a hinge. See? So you want it to be strong, but you don't you still want it to hinge. And that's that wire will do that. So a little double piece of wire, you feed it through. You can even use paper clips if you don't have wire. That'd be fine. So you do that. So now let's do piece three, the bicep. This is mine is eight inches by twelve inches. So and and this is poster board here. I know the black color is throwing you off. That's poster board instead of cereal box. So I use the template to make that piece, and now I'm taking that piece and applying it to foam and a, of a blue color. Don't let the colors throw you. I didn't have all of the same color of foam. So there you go. There's the bicep piece. Now we want to make it so you can open it and close it as you need it to get your arm in there. And how we do that is with some strips of Velcro. So as you see, you can roll it, fit it on your arm, get a good fit for it with extra room, trim it as needed, and then you put Velcro on it like this. Put some Velcro along one end, and then flip the thing over and put Velcro on the other end. Now notice I flipped it. So you don't see the Velcro anymore over there on the right? That's important. Now you put, then you put the hook or the loop, the mating pieces on, the, on this end like this. So what happens is when you roll it, these will connect, the, these are the hoops that will connect with the loops like this. See it? That's very important. Get that Velcro right before you, uh, make sure you understand that before you glue it down. But there's the bicep. You can adjust that to your arm. And I ended up trimming a little bit under the armpit, as needed. So now, you put it together like this, that goes about in the center. And you can, if you have help, have somebody put these pieces on and have somebody mark them. And then you know exactly where they fit the most comfortable. But you do the same thing. You um, pierce a hole through both and then run a double piece of wire through it to act as a hinge and an anchor and do it around the backside too. There you go. We're almost done here. Nice job. If you're doing this project, I am proud of you. Make sure you send me a picture. I will send you a certificate of contribution and I will put the picture on my website. Um, and just to show you, you can use your hot glue gun to add rivets like this to hide those and even have some fun with ornaments. Let's put some rivets on there. Now the last piece, the elbow piece. This is um, black poster board that I had put the template on. Now I'm putting it on foam. So it's always a some kind of cardboard, whether it be poster board or cereal box, glued to the foam. So you get a double layer. So it's strong and it's sturdy and it'll stay together. It, lo it looks good and the foam has got a nice smooth look to it. So do that and then cut it out. Now you do the same thing. Position it at the elbow, pierce two holes, one through each piece, and then glue it down. Wrap it around the back and do the same thing. Try it on and get it fitted just right for yourself, for your arm. See? Doesn't that look good? All four pieces. Now go crazy with the hot glue gun. Add some ornaments, paint this thing, put some designs. Oh, I'm going to show you some painting. I like it. Important thing, it moves. That way you can move your arm. So, and then I had some fun with some ornaments, and I don't show you all of that, but you can see it in the pictures, how I made like a little design that's kind of cool. So that's it, let's paint it up. Silver spray paint. And make sure you uh, move it to get at the parts that are currently not exposed because it's all hinged. You wanna get under the hinges. And that's it, you're done. I like it. There's, oh, there you can see the design I put on my elbow. So that's it. I also have the gauntlet and the van brace. So we've gone from your fingertips all the way up to your shoulder. I have more of this foam armor coming. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.